Alex Ortega of VP Sales. We're here today at 2015 SEMA at the Flowmaster booth and today we're going to talk about the different family of mufflers we have to offer. So we're going to start off with our aggressive sounding mufflers. Everything from our Outlaw Race muffler down to our 40 Series Delta Flow. And basically Flowmaster is at times uh, received in a manner where the people perceive us as the aggressive muffler, performance muffler manufacturer. And, and to a certain extent that is the uh, case, however I'm going to show you today all the different family of mufflers and how they differentiate between one another. We're going to start off today with our Outlaw Race Muffler, which is a uh, very aggressive and noticeable muffler not only outside of the vehicle but also inside the cab. Uh, what I would recommend to most uh, consumers is to not run this muffler unless they're willing to accept the interior drill level and the interior resonance level. Very noticeable. It's originally a race muffler that we used on race applications that are required to run a muffler without a specific dB level. So that'll tell you the level of sound it produces. It represents uh, as a muffler very, uh, very open, free flowing. And the inner rings that you see here will provide a little bit of sound attenuation, just enough to take the bite out of the uh, exterior sound, but overall very aggressive. As we move down the chart, we're going into our Super 10 one chamber muffler. The Super 10 one chamber muffler is also very aggressive. It's very popular. It actually was born through our race mufflers, the Delta Force race mufflers. And again, the body of the muffler, very small, very stout, six inches and some change in height and about only four inches in thickness. Uh, very noticeable. Uh, something that I like to recommend to most customers that have purchased a two-chamber design but yet it didn't meet their, their level or their desire of sound so they want to go a step up and this would be a great option. Available for V8 domestic applications, some import applications as well, um, but again very noticeable. Uh, available only in stainless steel which is a 409 grade stainless with a lifetime warranty. Moving forward we've got our famous two-chamber 40 series muffler. This is very aggressive, very noticeable as well. However, it's one of those mufflers that is uh, widely available for not only uh, muscle cars but also trucks. And uh, what I like about this muffler is that it has a very distinguishable sound. This is actually the, the muffler that put Flowmaster on the map back in the early 80s when the Fox body hit the scene. This was the muffler that really made that famous combination of a Flowmaster muffler 2 chamber 40 series on a Fox body 5.0. Sweetest sound ever in my opinion. Moving forward, we, we've got a, a newer version of our two chamber designs, the Super 44, very popular. Um, it's a redesign of the original two chamber 40 series. What I like about this muffler, honestly, is the fact that it performs better. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. It's nothing that you would notice on the track or on the street. It's something you would notice on a dyno. But what's most important about this muffler is that refined tone. It has a new school twist, a little bassier, a little throatier, but yet not as harsh inside the cab. Moving forward, oh, moving forward over to our Super 40. Uh, this is another unique two-chamber design, like the 40 series and like the Super 44. However, it features a thicker size case. What's unique about this muffler is that it, it could handle uh, higher output applications. So if you've got a 400 or a 450, 500 horsepower application, and you want something that's gonna be able to handle that output of that uh, early era muscle car or that late model muscle car, this is the way to go also available for trucks and because of the bigger size case it does generate a deeper and bassier tone. Now moving forward down the scale we're going to go into our 40 series Delta Flow another great design from Flowmaster um, it features the three deflector internal construction for additional sound cancellation and additional scavenging effect. Performs well um, this muffler at times gets a little bit lost simply because it's stuck between the aggressive mufflers and the moderate sounding mufflers. A great unit uh, it's been around since the early 2000s personally one of my favorites available also in uh, stainless and aluminized uh, popular unit um, personally, I, I feel that uh, this muffler could be uh, recommended for those guys that are looking for a little bit of that Flowmaster two-chamber sound, but nothing too wild. So let's move over. Let's move forward over to our uh, 80 series crossflow design. The 80 series crossflow design is a transverse style muffler. Basically, the inlet port and the outlet port are on the same side as you can see here. And basically, the inlet port enables the exhaust flow and the exhaust pulses and the sound waves to come through, but it evacuates it through two outlet ports, famously known for uh, being utilized on the Camaros and Firebirds. Again, inlet port comes in, dual outlets go out. Aggressive, noticeable, smaller body, four by uh, four inches thick by nine and three quarters wide by about 17 inches in case length. Very noticeable. 
As we move forward down the line, we're gonna go into our moderate sounding mufflers. Now this guy here is the 50 series heavy duty. As you can see here, it features a four inch internal tuning chamber, much larger, much beefier, much bigger. And the reason why we did that is because it could handle the output of a Hemi pickup, it could handle the output of a higher horsepower application, truck application, and also diesel trucks. Um, very noticeable in terms of exterior sound. Interior wise, you can, you can hear it, but it's not gonna be unpleasant to the point where you can't hear your radio or carry on a conversation with the passenger inside the vehicle. Um, again, available in aluminized and stainless steel. Now moving forward into our laminar flow designs. This is a very unique design, different uh, in its own way completely different from the chamber design mufflers, whether it's a one chamber or two chamber. Uh, what's nice about this muffler is that it features a ceramic blanket uh, outside of the outer of the inner core, which keeps the shell of the muffler cool. And that's, that's key because if you're running this muffler in a tight area where you have very limited space, it actually helps maintain the, uh, the coolness and, and it won't overheat the floorboard or any nearby components underneath the vehicle. Um, this muffler here, the DBX series, uh, what we did is we made it available in two inch, two and a quarter, two and a half, all the way up to three inch. Now what's unique about this muffler is that it's 304 grade stainless, so it can be polished, you can get that nice mirror finish. Um, a lot of the sport compact guys like to run this muffler, your typical w WRX guys, uh, some of your Evo guys, some of your uh, Civic guys. I mean, it's, it's a really unique tone. And what I love about this muffler is that it doesn't have that high pitched bumblebee sound. And that's something most, uh, most fanatics uh, are not into. Uh, some of you may be, but it's, it's not going to get you there. Um, moving forward, we've got our Super HP2, also another laminar flow design. But what makes this muffler unique is that it's, uh, it caters to the hot rodders. The uh, old school era guys that are running the old school Chevys, old school Fords, or Willys guys. Uh, again, a very slim and cylindrical design. Uh, again, it has the ceramic blanket, so it keeps the shell of the muffler cool. It's available in 304 grade stainless, also in 409 stainless. A very unique tone. It, it, it has an old school muscle car or old school hot rod type of sound without the popping or cracking or the nasty wrap that your typical glass pack would produce. One of my personal favorites when it comes to hot rods. Moving forward, we've got our Pro Series. Uh, this is another laminar flow design. Uh, available in larger diameters, larger sizes, uh, from three inch all the way up to five inch. And we did that purposely because we wanted to cater to the community of the uh, diesel guys. Uh, and those guys, when, when it comes to uh, high performance, they want something that's gonna create a little bit more, uh, more uh, less of a, of a turbo spool, reduce that turbo spool, and most importantly, create more of a deeper and basier note. Um, one of my personal favorites as well, um, again, deeper, hollower tone, not high pitched, not raspy, and it doesn't have that nasty uh, uh, bumblebee tone that everybody uh, hears on the street every day. So very unique in its own way. Moving forward into the Delta 50, our 50 series Delta Flow. This is probably one of the most popular three chamber mufflers. And basically if you take this, this whole chamber out of the picture, you've got a two chamber muffler. So what we did here is we incorporated the tuning chamber in order to reduce the interior drone level. And that's key for some customers because they like to hear the exterior sound, but not so much the interior resonance. And uh, we also extended the case length, so we made it 17 inches in case length versus your typical two chamber 13 inch case length. One of my personal favorites, available in stainless steel and also in alumni steel. Moving forward, we've got our 60 series Delta Flow. Uh, this, this muffler here is designed for sport compact uh, domestic and import applications. Uh, it features a five by 10 inch case, so five inches in thickness, 10 inches in width. Smaller pipe diameter, so you're only gonna find this in a max size of two and a quarter, nothing beyond that. Um, only available in aluminized steel. Uh, what I like about this muffler uh, the most is that it doesn't have packing material inside of it nothing to burn out. It's strictly a chambered muffler. So the same sound you get in the beginning will be the same sound in the end. So it's never gonna get louder, higher pitched, raspier, which is key when it comes to those sport compact uh, four cylinder and six cylinder applications. Moving forward over into our Super 50 lineup. Uh, this muffler here is also a three chamber muffler. Think of it as a 50 series Delta Flow, but with a thicker size case. So it's five by 10 by 17 inches in case length, available in various configurations, available in stainless steel and aluminized steel. Uh, what's important here is if you have a family with you or if you have a significant other with you and you want to get the performance aspect out of the vehicle, but not so much sound, this would be the perfect option to consider because it really does 
create a nice deep level uh, type of hum without the interior drone inside the cab. And it's important. It's important to have that because you want to be able to carry on a conversation with passengers inside the vehicle. Moving forward to our 70 series big block, uh, this muffler here is designed for the guy that's using his truck or his uh, heavy duty uh, towing application as a, as a towing vehicle, as a workhorse. So if you're, if you're towing a trailer, if you're towing your livestock, if you're towing you know, your hot rod behind you, whatever it may be, this is the key muffler to go with because when it's under load, it's gonna perform and it's gonna give you that low end torque you need without the interior resonance. A much larger unit, so it measures 22 inches in case length, larger tuning chamber, it's got the power chamber for the scavenging effect, so it's still going to give you the performance advantages, but not the noise, and that's what's key. It's slightly louder than the stock uh, system or the stock muffler. Here what we have is our 50 series big block, which is one of the quietest mufflers you'll find out in the marketplace in terms of performance mufflers. Performs extremely well, delivers the additional horsepower and torque you need, however, it's not going to be any louder than the stock setup. Uh, as you can see here, it features a larger size case, a little wider, also a little thicker, long as the uh, 70 series, but yet it's got a larger tuning chamber and it just generates all the performance you need without that additional racket. So if you've got an RV, if you've got a, a one ton pickup, or if you've got any type of workhorse and you're just looking for performance advantages with no noise, this is the right option to go with. So there you have it folks, the family of mufflers from Flowmaster, all available through summitracing.com. Again, Flowmaster offers a variety of sounds and different flavors for everyone. Uh, keep in mind, Flowmaster doesn't just make aggressive sounding mufflers. However, we do offer a little bit of something for everyone. And visit us at uh, summitracing.com for more information and details.